Hey there Minecraft lovers, Sam up here. Today I'm in Minecraft 17w50a which is the latest snapshot announced by Mojang a week ago. I actually filmed this video a week ago, right in the day when the snapshot launched, uh, but I didn't manage to publish it in time so you're seeing it right now, but this is um, still really relevant and new changes that are occurring in Minecraft 1.13. So let's see after the intro what changes this version brings us. Now, here are the changes for this version. Item frames and so maps can now be placed on the floor and on the ceiling. Then water and lava flow is no longer affected by random tick speed, but most importantly, they have added this new carrot symbol to the um coordinate parameter. As you can see now in the TP command, this is an accepted syntax. This caret symbol signifies local coordinates. What this means is that you'll be able, for example, to teleport based on the rotation of the entity which is executing the command. This means a lot to us command blockers because we'll be able to create what the community calls raycast, we'll be able to create circles, we'll be able to do a lot of things, we'll be able to create projectile, we'll be able to create weapons, there's an infinite potential for this new change. And I say this because this is something we have wanted to have as a community, as a command block community, for a long time. Uh, there is a boot method, there is an Elytra method to raycast um, in uh, 1.10 I believe but now there is something official uh, meant to do this and it is this caret notation so let's take a look at how it behaves so as you saw you just have to replace the three tiles we've used to to this three caret sign um, just a random fact, I didn't even know uh, this symbol was called carrot before this update, so yeah, thumbs up for my English. Now, when I type in something like this, uh, for example on the x-axis, I would move two blocks um, in the positive x-axis um, based on the rotation of my head, rather than the position of the axis in the word. So now I would, I would move to my left. As you can see, if I rotate this way, it's going to move me that way. If I rotate this way, it's going... And it's super precise. To better demonstrate this concept, I've got to summon a chicken. Hey, hey Wing, you're gonna be our testing tool today. So I've shown the hitboxes uh, by uh, pressing on the keyboard F3 plus B at the same time. And now I can see this blue vector, which indicates the chicken's rotation. So now imagine if I sort of attach the 6 axis, you know, or the 3 axis if you consider both positive and negative, to this uh, blue line. So I get that based on the rotation, the direction of the axis changes, if that makes sense. So this is a simple teleport command which is going one block in the Z relative to the uh, chicken's rotation. So what happens now? The chicken will be teleported one block towards the direction um, is looking. So the axis you want to use if you want to teleport something or uh, trigger an action based on where I'm looking uh, straight in front of me is the positive Z as you can see here. Then positive X is on my left minus 1, so negative x is on my right, positive y is towards the top, negative towards the bottom, positive z is in front of me, and negative is towards behind me. So now it will do the opposite. For instance, let's use the y-axis, um, positive 2, so now it's going to teleport me up, but if I start looking down, you'll see that now it teleports me forwards. This happens because the axes are attached to that blue line you saw. And if I start looking up, uh, guess it, it will 
teleport me backwards. Now that you've understood how this system works, we can start seeing some examples. So, the first concept I prepared today is drawing. So let's activate this command block. Um, I call it drawing, but it's really it's a simple particle command. And as you can see, wherever I point, this is going to follow my cursor. Isn't this amazing? It's something 100% precise uh, since this version. Of course, we were able to do this in previous Minecraft versions, but this would require to use a lot of execute commands. This is now not needed anymore, and the command is a simple uh, execute with an offset, uh, which is going to run the particle command at this local coordinate temlock in the Z. So as, as I told you before, the positive Z is the direction I am looking straight in front of me. So I've got even a second and a third example, but let's get um, to the second one. Now I will just need to press this button to create a circle. This is a perfect circle created in Minecraft. I was actually able to do this, I implemented this in one of my creations which dates back to a year ago or maybe two, I don't remember actually. In that command I used the Elytra to simulate the exactly same thing. Uh, and now this same thing is made a lot easier. And as you can see, surprisingly, we've got an armor stand. You need to pay attention to this blue line. So I activate the first command. Um, which generates this particle wherever this line is. The second command block generates the particle at the same distance but on the opposite side. And this one just makes the armor stand turn. This is what simply creates a circle. Isn't this amazing, right, guys? Done with uh, two commands because really this one, this third one, isn't really needed. It's just to make the effect more uh, visible. This first command just makes the armor stand rotate. Uh, I don't know why I had to use an execute to just make the armor stand rotate around itself. Uh, this is the new 1.13 thing. And this one just creates a particle five blocks in the uh, Z uh, relative to the rotation. Uh, you'll find a word download if you wish to uh, go more deeply in what I explained and maybe, you know, just create uh, something of your own based of my uh, proof of concepts. So on number three, we have guns and project tiles. So if this chain is activated, yes, this is uh, pressed, take a carrot on a stick, just simply this one, and just by right clicking, I will shoot a bullet. Isn't this amazing, guys? Look at whatever direction I can even point towards the four corners of the sun and you see this is really really precise. Um, of course you can add some custom models and some sound effects to make this um, cooler. Oh I actually forgot to add a thing that damages mobs. I will do it, um, I will be back in a second. Right so guys I am back. Now if I summon in some creepers as you can see, I will kill them. So the way it works is whenever uh, my score increases, um, I set a timer, uh, I summon in an armor stand which uh, is teleported to me, it gets my rotation and it then it's teleported by using these two commands right here towards the direction that armor stand is looking. Uh, by the way, that armor stand is wearing uh, if I can find it, yeah, a stone button which simulates the bullet. Yeah, there's some inaccuracy because I would need to make some more uh, teleport commands. But this is a, just a proof of concept. Uh, it doesn't work with undead mobs because I tend to damage them with um, instant damage, which doesn't work, per, for example, on zombies and undead mobs like skeletons and um, wither skeletons. So it is really cool if you want to download the word, you, you will find it on my website, which is linked in the description down below. So that's all for me, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this new addition. I really, really do. It's something we've 
wanted forever in map making. So that's it for me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh,